Okay, this happened a few days ago. Okay. Um, you know, I get plenty of WhatsApp messages, emails and all that. And, um, you know, I do check them from time to time. Especially the ones which, you know, ask for my service. So this particular email I got from uh, actual email address and uh, was asking for my service. The only reason I'm not sharing is because I'll tell you, I'll tell you as you listen to the video. Now, this girl wanted my services. She wanted my services and uh, and she sent me a CV. Okay? Very genuine. Okay? Uh, she sent me a social media links and she said, just to prove it to you, I'm not fake. Okay? I need your services. Uh, if you could tell me your rates and all that. I gave her my rates and she agreed to it. But she said she wanted to ask me a few questions. Okay. Now, mind you, the girl was very attractive in terms of her face, features. And uh, since her Instagram and Facebook account was open, she is a really attractive looking girl, at least in my eyes. Okay. So, finally, she, I told her, send me a WhatsApp and you can ask me. So, she was asking, asking, and that day I was doing my work of editing the previous videos and it becomes hard when you're editing and you're chatting and and she had plenty of questions okay so finally i got fed up i said listen i'll uh, give you a few minutes on video you can ask me whatever questions you want list them down first once you have your questions we'll finish it off she said sir give me 10 15 minutes i said fine uh, I think after nearly an hour, it was not 15 minutes. I didn't bother because you want to ask, you ask, you don't want to ask. So, by the time I was eating food, it was my dinner. So, she sent me, I said, wait, I need to finish food. So, another hour went by, more than an hour. And finally, I told her, okay, fine, we can talk now. Finally, she appeared on video. And I'll tell you, ooh. She was not just attractive, she was decked up, completely ready to talk to me. Very beautiful. Now, let me give you a small caveat here. She was wearing a really attractive outfit. And by attractive, I mean, you know what I mean. Okay. And she had put the camera there and she was standing and talking to me. So obviously, I can see her physique up to here. Very attractive. Oof. I was like, ooh, it means I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, so I asked her, like, why are you standing so far? You can come closer, we are just talking. No, 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 sir, I, I want to stand and give respect. Okay, give respect. So she asked me a question, she had a paper, she was very excited. Now, after the questions got over, um, she said she would agree on the payment and all. Now, immediately, there was a payment that was made. However, it was short of what I had asked her. And uh, I told her, uh, did you send this? She said, yes. I said, uh, you have not made the full payment. She said, sir, I don't have much money now. I am sending you just to confirm the deal to let you know I didn't waste your time. I'll pay the rest of the money later. Please, sir, this, that. I said, okay, fine. So, confirm client. That's the reason I'm not showing you the email and all. Uh, following that, uh, she was, uh, sir, you know, sending me a message. She said, sir, you can put the notifications on mute. I just want to share with you some of my thoughts. So, I'll not disturb you. I mean, she was intelligent. She knew how WhatsApp works. I said, fine, put it on mute. You can send what you want. Because once you're a client, I give priority. So she is sending, it's uh, you know, you know, all praises you. It's so amazing to see you, you know, I've been a fan of yours, blah, 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 went on, went on, went on. Okay. And as she started to go on, she started to relate her personal life. And, uh, we, you know, I was doing my work and looking at the side. I have this habit of multitasking and 
sirs reading reading she was writing a lot and then she sir asked me sir can i tell you about my uh can i tell you something personal oh uh, yeah, okay tell me something personal what and with personal it went to love life uh, and if you if you have a little bit of intuition you would know that where it's moving yours from love life it went to very soon sex life and uh, it was <laughs> the conversation was more like reading a 50 shades of gray book very spicy indeed and for me i was enjoying i was like yeah yeah so how hope you don't mind yeah 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 tell me tell me went on went on went on and finally she told me that she even sent this guy which is very common in india apparently she sent this guy photos and videos okay photos and videos you know nude and and she also had taken videos of sex i was like oh, very interesting okay finally you know you keep going on and telling me about i said oh, fine she said sir if you don't believe me she said i can share it with you okay share i mean i <laughs> you're talking to a guy and you're saying you want to show your nude pictures and your uh you know videos and all and she said sir you can click on this link and download i said my dear i'm not going to download anything you can send me on whatsapp fine they are very large files just send me what you can on whatsapp i'm not going to click on any link so then she said send me oh ooh <laughs> now before you jump the gun and say hey law you're betraying your client i do you know her name you don't know her name right okay do you know her identity you don't know in fact some of you will say law it's fake fine if it's fake stop watching the video don't see the video why are you watching the video and then crying fake so if you believe only then stick on okay i know some will say i don't believe you but i want to listen then shut the fuck up dot com and listen so she said all this see for me you know, i am used how much of nude girls and how much of porn and how much i've done it been there done that yeah so after all this was sent uh, then she began so i hope so you are not judging me so it looks like you're ignoring me i was ready doing my work i don't have time to respond to everything so i i said not judge you not this thing Then she asked me, "What do you think?" What do you think? I said, "You, I, I told her you seriously want to know what I think." She said, "Yeah." I said, "You're stupid." She said, "So I know, sir, but why? Why are you saying that? Uh, why? Why are you saying that I'm stupid? Is it because I trusted him?" I said, "No. Number one, you are uploading your, and this is her legit, huh?" photographs and video. I said you are uploading it to the cloud <laughs> you are uploading it online for people to download and I said you just hardly met me and you have already shared with me the link number 1 is I'm very sure you shared this link with others number 1 100% number 2 is if someone were to hack into your accounts which is you know if they could hack LTT that is Linus Tech Tips who is one of the most secure he talks of tech and he's a is millions 15 million subscribers he has the resources to speak directly to youtube they have a dedicated youtube manager because they spend millions on youtube if they could get hacked and i have entire servers and everything you know deleted of all their videos they got it back by the way i said you are a girl from india you think people can't do that and blackmail you and then uh, I said number three is you got it touch with me for resume rebrand and career and all of a sudden you are talking about your sex life and showing me your nudity and videos. I said we hardly even had a session. We just spoke. You did it because you want to do it. You enjoy people watching you. You enjoy talking about sex. You enjoy 
trapping other men and that's why you that's the same thing you try to do with me you wanted to get me under your charm your influence your uh, beauty whatever by paying me pennies by paying me a small amount and you thought you would get all the benefits which i don't feel bad because it's not the first time someone has tried it but it's not going to work because it's very simple unless and until you pay 100% i'm not going to start my work and you, you can't uh, uh, you know get me crazy about this and finally i told her my dear i'm 46 okay i'm a guy who has done it all here i stay in thailand samui you stay in india there's no way we're going to meet so there's no way we're going to have sex and even if we could meet i wouldn't because what if your agenda is to trap me even right now online what if your agenda was to blackmail me you never know you can screenshot all the conversation you can take a video of when i'm talking to you you can uh, maybe my enemy has paid you 10 times more to get you to destroy my career anything can happen right so i said uh, this is not my first rodeo and i'm very aware of if i make a mistake what will happen then obviously she went on you know no sir you misunderstood this act. i said no i'm just sharing with you the possibilities and probabilities i said understand this much i've been on this platform for many years online i know the risks of making a mistake all it takes is one mistake to get caught one mistake either you're chatting with a underage girl or uh you know somebody you should not and, uh, that's the end of your career and end of your life people can trap you in various ways and just for 5 minutes of pleasure an erection and a climax i'm not i might as well have a cyber sex uh, session with a paid person who i trust then someone who i just met online and that also a few not even a few hours ago hardly you know some time ago she said, no sir you judge me mr i said fine maybe i am wrong but i want you to know you pay rest of them out then we start say so, okay sir you misunderstood i hope you this blah 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 went on fine after that she blocked me she blocked me from everywhere and uh, that was it now why am i sharing this with you is it to expose this girl no like i told you someone who takes my service professionally i'm now going to break their trust i'll never no matter how bad my relationship goes with them i'm not going to destroy their trust that is one the second thing is or more important thing is if you are online today with your real profile okay everything you do is recorded is stored can be retrieved you can delete you can do whatever you want but if it is once you put it online yeah people can say 128 256 or 512 encryption or advanced encryption or this social media app guarantees they will not leak your information to the government or nobody can hack them i'll just tell you one thing if something is online it's online finished and there are very intelligent people very powerful individuals or companies which with the right amount of money time and expertise they can retrieve this so the main reason why i'm sharing this video with you is be careful you know especially for if if you're famous especially if you're famous there are so many people out there who want to make money out of you especially in usa man you know uh, there's a actual documentary i wish i had saved that you know basketball players students who are selected by nba or uh, that baseball league mlb okay i don't know if that's a full form girls actual females 
not only trap these young men, they make sure that they get them pregnant, okay, get the baby, and then they, you know, they have to pay for the wife, uh, for the lady and child support for the rest of their life, and that goes up to millions. In fact, I just read Kenny G, you know, that musician, he had to pay his ex-wife and this thing, three million, I think, what, every year, every month, or something. There are people who are paying millions of dollars, millions per month. There are some who get paid uh, one million or four, two, three million per month, and they say that is not enough for my expenses. So in USA, yes. In India, okay, you can't have this, but blackmail and, you know, the Indian public is jobless. They're just waiting to bash up somebody. And uh, they'll enjoy. The bigger you are, the more they'll enjoy bash up because they are jobless. So all I want to tell you through this video is be careful who you chat with, be careful who you talk to, be careful who you have video sessions. In fact, uh, I get from time to time people who told, tell me that they had a cyber sex or video sex or chat sex or they send nude photographs of their private parts only for the person to blackmail them. It's very common, man. I get so many from Dubai and India who tell me, sir, what do I do? Uh, <laughs> It's sad, it's, you know, that five minutes that you lose, or even that minute you lose self-control and you send it. It's not that I don't feel, you think I don't feel temptation, you think I don't feel the urges, you don't, you think I don't feel like having maybe a few minutes of intimate sex, uh, sexual chat, uh, what about this and that, and down there, what are you wearing, and how do you like, we enjoy it. I'm being honest, with you. I enjoy it, but, over the years, learn to control it. I still enjoy it, but I'm so bloody busy uh, earning money and having enough and more stress. No time. That's why. Right. Five minutes, Pornhub, end of story. The power of the hand. Da -da. Black lives matter. <laughs> anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Okay. Do you think this is common? Do you think this is not common? And do you think this is actually happening? Or do you think I just created a story and for views? <laughs> then why do you subscribe to my channel, man? Never understand. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and be careful. Especially of anyone who Gives you like this, you know, something is too good to be true. Generally is the case. Right? You guys take care. This is me signing off.